I often talk about hearing the spirits. Whatever part of the world you're from, go out every morning at, at sunrise and make an offering. Go out in the morning and make that offering and approach. So in our part of the world, we use tobacco. That's more in Lakota way. Also here locally, I live by another uh, group of indigenous peoples called the Pueblo people. They often use cornmeal. And, and it's really important to specify who you're calling in, by the way. So you, I talk to those which serve life, light, and love. I'm calling on you, I'm reaching out to you, and I'm presenting myself to you in a respectful way. We're joining a long lineage when we, when we go out to do that. It's just saying me as the soul, me as the spirit, I'm reaching out to you and I'm asking how can I be of service to life, light, and love? How can I participate fully in the very highest possibility for life, light, and love? Boy, oh boy, if you do that every morning for some time, uh, things are gonna get pretty radical for you. <laughs> we weren't sent here alone to walk this alone. We were sent with huge spiritual help. And I would say now more than ever, spiritual help is like bombarding the mother earth. But none of that spiritual help can do a single thing without our permission. And so that's the law of free will. So with our own free will, by going out and making that offering in the way that humanity has done forever, we say, I open to, to step into that larger community that is moving towards life. And how, how am I a part of it? And um, so that's the first ceremony.